You asked, and now it's finally here. Appalachian Wireless now offers unlimited data on the best network in the region. See store for complete details, better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Lawrence County native Tyler Childers has been making waves in the country music industry with his new LP, Purgatory. Tyler says growing up in these mountains played a big part of who he is today as an artist. It's foundation for um, just me as a person, you know, and, uh, and uh, the way that I've grown to see the world around me and, uh, you know, it, uh, it's influenced the characters that I write about. Um, it's influenced the sound, the, what I want to hear uh, out of my music, you know, out of other people's music, you know, what I think's quality and what's not. Rolling Stone magazine describes Tyler's sound as a raw look at the darker regions of modern day Appalachia where bluegrass is in the soul but cocaine is in the blood. However, Tyler describes it a little differently. The sound I'm, I'm trying to go for is it's a, uh, it's a combination of a lot of things but uh, it's like Marty Stewart says we're doing a little thing called the hillbilly rock you know I mean grew up listening to a lot of southern gospel and a lot of bluegrass um, you know, growing up in this region, country music was a was a big influence early on. You know, I uh, listened to a lot of Ricky Skaggs and Larry Cordell, and uh, pretty partial to D. White. So uh, uh, all that, you know, just uh, welded together with some drive-by truckers, and uh, yeah, I don't really know how to explain it other than that. Those who knew Tyler early on knew right away he was something special and was destined to do big things. I teach at Lawrence County High School and I teach freshmen. And I had Tyler several years ago in my freshman government class. Little bright-eyed, red-haired kid. And I play music and a lot of people know that, so me and Tyler connected pretty early because he played music. But it didn't take long to figure out that Tyler wasn't like most of the other children. He, he was already writing songs and was interested in some pretty esoteric stuff. We always knew that he would grow. It's like, okay, we gotta watch this, you know. You know, I can't wait to see him in a few years because we know he's, he's headed for bigger and better things, you know. Wherever he is, he's gonna take that next step. If you missed Tyler's show at the Mountain Arts Center, you can catch him this week on December 2nd and 3rd at the V Club in Huntington, West Virginia. Reporting from Prestonsburg, I'm Sean Allen for EKB News. All right, thank you.